I'll show you 5 powerful DaVinci Resolve Fusion tricks that will take your edits to the next level. First, the base setup. Open DaVinci Resolve. As you can see on my screen I already have the interface open. Let's go down to the bottom right corner and click on Settings. Here the Project Settings menu appears. Right now, my timeline resolution is set to 4K, but for these tricks I want to work in HD. So I'll change it to 1920 by 1080 I'm switching to HD because it makes playback smoother while working, and it's more than enough for the effects we're going to create. Next, let's adjust the frame rate. I'll set mine to 30 frames per second. Finally, click Save. Of course, you can set your resolution and frame rate according to your own project, but these are the settings I'll use for all the tricks in this tutorial. Trick number 1. Scramble text. First, go to the effects panel. Open toolbox, then click on titles. From there, select text plus and drag it onto your timeline. Now, select the text layer and go to the inspector on the right side. Inside the text box, type your text. I'm typing party here but you can write whatever you like. Next, change the font. I'll choose ink free but you can pick any font you prefer. Let's increase the size a bit like this. Then click on color and pick a shade. As you can see there are plenty of color options. I'll go with this one and hit OK. Now, under the Settings tab we can adjust the position of the text. I'll place mine slightly at the bottom. That looks good. Next, go back to the Text tab, right-click inside the text box and choose Text Scramble. You'll notice on the right side that the Fusion Panel option appears. Let's click it. In the Inspector, under Modifiers you'll see the Randomness Control. As I drag this slider left and right you can see the text changing. If you make a mistake, just press Ctrl plus Z to undo. To animate this effect, place the playhead at the start of your text clip. Click the keyframe icon on randomness, then increase the value to the amount you want. Now move forward on the timeline and set the randomness back to zero. Go back to the edit timeline and hit play. You'll see the text scrambling animation working nicely. To make it look even cooler let's add some glow. Go back to Fusion, select the template node, Press Ctrl plus Spacebar, search for Glow and add it. Adjust the Glow size as much as you like. Now return to the Edit Timeline. From the Media Pool, drag your background video onto the timeline. Place the text layer above your video. Press Play and there it is. White Heavy Checkmark Our Scramble Text Effect is ready. Trick number 2 is Fast Noise. You can see the video footage is already on my timeline. Go to Effects under Toolbox, click on Titles and select Text. Drag it on top of your video on the V2 track. Stretch the text layer to match the length of your video. Now select the text layer, go to the text box and type your text. I'll write my channel name Visual Nova, but you can type anything you like. Next, change the font. I'll choose Impact. Increase the text size, I'll keep it at this size. Now change the text color, there are a lot of options but I'll keep it white since it looks cleaner. Now let's add an adjustment clip. On the left side, Go to Effects, search for Adjustment Clip, and drag it on top of the text layer on the V3 track. Stretch the Adjustment Clip to match your text and video length. Now select the Adjustment Clip, go to Effects, search for Fast Noise, drag it on the Adjustment Clip. Go to the Inspector under Effect, change the preset to Water Surface. Now you can see the text looks like it's waving with water. Adjust the scale value, increasing or decreasing it changes the movement. I'll set it here. Next, adjust the H slash V ratio. This also changes the movement style. I'll decrease it slightly. Now scroll down to position. Here you can adjust the X and Y values. By changing the X and Y values, you can control the direction and movement of the noise. For example, adjusting X moves it horizontally, and adjusting Y moves it vertically. Next, go back up and adjust the contrast. Increasing contrast makes the effect more intense and faster while lowering it makes it smoother and slower. So contrast plays a very important role in this trick. Set it according to your preference. Now play it back, it looks really cool. Trick number 3 Heat Haze Text. Go to the media pool, select your fire footage and drag it on the timeline. Now duplicate the text by holding Alt and dragging it above the fire video. Trim the text layer to match the fire clip length. Do the same for the adjustment clip, hold Alt and drag it above the new text layer. Trim it as well. Now the text still has the water surface effect. Let's change it. Go to the inspector effects, change the preset to heat haze. Now play it, you can see the text looks like heat waves are coming from the fire. It's hot and cool at the same time. You can still adjust the scale, H slash V ratio, and especially the contrast to fine tune the effect. And that's it. 
Both variations of our fast noise text effect are ready. Trick number 4 Tracking Object First, right-click on your video and select Create New Fusion Clip. Now go to the Fusion panel. Here you'll see two nodes, Media In 1 and Media Out 1. Next, let's add a tracker node. Select the Media In 1 node, press Ctrl plus Spacebar, and search for Tracker. Since it's already available, we'll simply add it. Now you'll notice that the Tracker node has appeared between Media In 1 and Media Out 1. On the Viewer window, you'll also see a Tracker point. You can click and drag this point anywhere on the video to decide which area you want to track. For example, I want to track the car's number plate, so I'll place the tracker point right there. Now go to the inspector under the tracker 1 options. You'll see multiple options like track reverse, track forward, play and pause. If I play the video right now, the tracker will not follow the motion because we haven't tracked it yet. So first, move the playhead all the way to the beginning of the video, then click track forward. Now, the point you placed earlier will start tracking that area. Once the tracking is done, click OK to confirm. Next, let's add text to this tracker. Go back to your node timeline, select the Tracker 1 node and click the Text Plus T icon. Drag it onto the node graph and connect it to the Tracker 1 node. Now click the Text Plus node and type your text. I'll type Police but you can write whatever you want. Next, change the font. I'll choose Impact. At first, you might not see the text on the viewer window. To fix this, select the Tracker 1 node, go to Operation and change it to Match Move. Now the text will appear. Go back to the Text Plus node and adjust the size of the text as you like. Then drag it on the viewer window to position it where you want. I'll place it above the number plate. Finally, let's change the color. Choose any color you like and hit OK. I'll go with red. Now when I play it back, you can see the text is perfectly tracked with the moving car. Trick number 5 Cinematic Text Effect First create a new fusion composition. In the media pool, right click and select new fusion composition. I'll name this one cinematic text, and I'll set the duration to 3 seconds. Then hit create. Drag the new fusion composition from the media pool down onto the timeline. Select it and now go to the fusion page. Here you can see we only have one node, media out. Let's move it off to the side for now because we won't be using it yet. At the moment you can see one viewer window, but you can open a second if you want. For this effect we only need one viewer so I'll keep it that way. Now let's add a background node. Drag it into the viewer so you can see it. You can also click the small right circle under the node to send it to the viewer. In the inspector under background one, we'll change the color. First, under type, select four corner. This allows us to set a different color for each corner of the background. Let's start with the top right corner. I'll choose a nice blue color here, and reduce the opacity to about 0.35. Now for the bottom left corner, I'll pick another shade of blue and set the opacity to around 0.2. Now we have a nice, subtle gradient background. Next let's add some text. Press the T icon to create a text node, then merge it with the background. You'll notice that a merge node is automatically created between them. Select the text node and type whatever text you want. I'll type Fusion Trick 01. At first you won't see it in the viewer, so drag the merge node into the viewer, and now the text is visible. Change the font to any style you prefer. I'll increase the font size a bit, and position it in the center. Now let's style the text. Go into the shading tab, and click gradient. In the center of the gradient, click to add a point and then change the colors. In the same way we'll also change the colors on the right and left sides. Now the text has a nice gradient effect. Next, let's animate the tracking. Move the playhead to the end of the clip and set a keyframe for tracking. Then move the playhead back to the first frame and set the tracking value to around 1.3. Play it back, you'll see the letters slowly spread apart with a smooth animation. To make it even better, go into the spline panel, press F4 to go full screen and check the box for character spacing. Select it and press S. Click here to zoom in, then select the left arrow and push it to the right like this. You can see it looks better now. Reclick Spline to turn the panel off. Now let's add some depth using DVE. Select the text node, press Ctrl plus space, search for DVE and add it. We're using DVE instead of a normal transform because DVE allows us to control 3D movement, especially on the Z axis, which creates a more cinematic feel. On the DVE 1 node, we'll animate the Z move. Move the playhead to frame 18 and set a keyframe for Z move. Now go back to the first frame and set Z move to zero. Play it back you'll see the text animating forward in 3D space. 
Finally, connect Merge 1 to Media Out 1. Go back to the timeline and hit play. The animation looks great but let's give it a true cinematic feel. Go to the timeline menu output blanking and select 2.35. Now we have cinematic black bars and our text animation is complete. That's our cinematic text animation. I hope these tips save you time and give your edits a more professional touch. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more editing tutorials. And let me know in the comments which trick you enjoyed the most or want me to explore further.